Hello, I'm gonna be taking off my old nails while I explain to you what this nail video is going to be. I have seen Aura nails all over the internet and I've actually done them once, but the way I went about it was very tedious. I know there's better ways to do it. I looked up a bunch of ways on how to do Aura nails and one of the main ways was using an airbrush. So I was like, hmm, Maybe I should try and get like one of the cheapest airbrushes I can find for nail polish. I got an airbrush machine and I've used it once. I tested it on my mom and this is how it came out. It took a bit of practice and there was like a bunch of things I had to like try and do to figure it out. So I'm gonna explain all that in this video. We're going to be doing some Gelix nails. I'm not sure what shape I'm gonna go for yet. I wanna start saying like what time it is before I film. It is 8.52 p.m. So it's 9 p.m. So we're gonna see how long this takes me to do my my nails because even though I've been doing my nails for like 10 years it still takes me like a really really long time and I get a bunch of comments saying it literally takes me like five hours to do my nails help how do I get faster honestly practice is really what helps you get faster sometimes you just take a long time to do your nails I don't know it's kind of therapeutic to me so yeah I just want to do a little intro I'm gonna finish taking my nails off and then we are going to get started Just finished taking off my nails doing some cuticle care which i have a whole entire video on file and kind of just roughing up the surface of my nails this helps everything stick to your nails way better you don't want to go too crazy you just want to like make the surface a teeny bit rough give it a little bit of grip now taking our dehydrator and putting that on all of our nails Okay, our next step is primer, but before primer, I always forget to do this, but I do like to go and get out all my nail sizes and stuff because primer can be a little bit sticky and then we're going to be doing a layer of extend gel, which also is sticky and you don't want to remove the sticky coat. So I like to do this now. The dilemma I'm having though is I don't know if I want to do almond or coffin. Okay, I think... Uh, I don't know, because if we do longer, we can do more design. Also not in the mood to have long nails. Okay, I think we're gonna go for some like medium rounds. You wanna pick out all the right sizes. You wanna make sure it fits sidewall to sidewall and the sidewall is right here on your nail. And see like this one's a little bit too small, like there's a gap right there. So I'm going to go with one size up. Now this one is a little bit too big. So when you have this issue when one is too small and one is too big, you wanna take the bigger one and you wanna put it up to your nail and see where it's a little bit too big. When you're sizing all of your nails, you wanna make sure you're not pushing it down all the way like this and you wanna make sure you're kind of holding it up because this is where they're going to lay when you apply them and that is how you should apply them because gel should be filling this entire little part to have a strong apex. Go like this, it's a little bit too big right here, so I'm just gonna take my file and just straighten that side out. And everyone has different nails. People have different shapes right here. People's nails are different here. Everyone has different nails. So there's not going to be a one size fits all gel extension. So that's why you do wanna kinda go in and make sure they're sized because it makes it so much easier once you apply them. It helps the longevity of your nails as well. But I always have to straighten out one side of my thumb for some reason. That side is just like way straighter. It already fits so, so much better. So I'm going to go in, size all my nails. I lay them out over here. And then we are going to do some more prep to them after that. You know, I always go back and forth between putting primer on the inside of my gel extension to etch them, but you know, today I'm just feeling fancy and I want to use my drill, so we're going to etch the inside of them. What etching the inside is, is pretty much giving this like some texture. So when you attach a gel extension to your nail, it really, really glues it together and it helps a lot. I have all my nails ready to be applied. Now we are finally going to go in with our primer, but I just want to do a little time check. Oh, 11 11. I started at 9 and it's already been two hours. So, and that was just me taking off my nails and applying hard gel and prepping them and the nails. I can't believe it's been two hours. Okay. But we are now going to apply primer. 
we're going to be taking the gel from Beetles. I know it says nail glue, but this is the same exact thing as the Extend Gel from Apreze. I'm telling you, there's like no difference at all. Also, yes, I know it's a prey, but I'm gonna keep saying a prize because I think it sounds better. We are going to go and apply one layer of this to our natural nail. Before we actually apply that, I always get a little dish full of acetone. Oh shit, I just spilled that everywhere. And a brush ready to clean up the edges before I cure them. to cure my nails for 60 seconds. I have my little light right here that we're going to use. I have my little light right here and you want it in an area so you can very easily put your fingers under it. So using the same exact gel that we use to apply the layer on our nail. We're going to be using that to apply the gel extensions to our nails. Put a thin-ish layer where my nail is going to go. Then I scrape some off like this to make a bigger glob and then kind of wiggle it in the middle. And then you're gonna to wanna to start at the cuticle and then slowly press down. Flash curing that for about 10 seconds. After we have applied the gel extensions and flash cured them, you're going to want to cure them in a big UV light for another 60 seconds. I am right-handed, so doing my right hand is difficult. I'm gonna be showing you me doing this hand. Again, please keep in mind, I've been doing my nails for 10 years, and the only thing I can give you guys advice on for doing your non-dominant hand is just to practice. And I know that's like such an annoying thing because it's just not like a quick fix. It honestly just takes practice. There's no other way to get good at doing your other hand. I still have trouble sometimes, but the the more you do it, the more you get the hang of it. Okay, so I have had spillage come out of the side of my nose. So hold the nail on there with my pointer finger and take some acetone on a brush. And just wipe that up before I cure it. This part could be very, very tedious. Okay, you know what? Okay, ha <laughs> just kidding, I messed up. So, whenever I mess up, I just take some rubbing alcohol, rub my nail off, and you just try and reapply it. So now, these are a little bit too wide for me, but I still want rounded nails, not almond nails. So I'm going to shape them a little bit. Finished filing my nails. I just made them a little less thick. Now we're going to take my pointed ceramic nail bit. Isn't this nail bit holder like the cutest thing? You can press a button back here and it has LEDs, but it's currently not charged. But it's so cute. We're going to blend our gel extension into our natural nail. You want to have this as flat on your nail as you possibly can. You never want to hold it like this. It's asking to make like 
divots and I don't know how to explain it you're gonna screw up your nail so you always want to make sure it's flat and we're going to be blending it because if you don't blend it then this can lift and then when you press on it it's all lifted right here and then lifting is not fun we all know that this nail bit is the best nail bit I've ever used for this I've used quite a few but this is the quickest I love ceramic nail bits it gets the job done like super duper quickly I go on like 12 ish just go along the line Line. Not super fast, not super slow. And just blend the line. So as you can see, you can't really even see the line where the gel extension starts. And when I go like this, you can't even feel it. I'm going to do that to all of my nails. going to take our sanding bit and we are going to remove all of the shine from our nails so that the polish really sticks to our nails well. my hands really quick and then we are going to get started with the design gel extensions are done and it is 1 a.m exactly okay so i'm thinking we're going to be doing some aura nails but i'm just not sure which ones i want to do i came across these and i thought these were really really pretty but i don't know if i want to do those or if i want to do like a clean background and do like different auras on each nail on one hand we are going to have a nude base and then i think we're going to do like a pinky orange aura and then on the other hand i think we're going to do like darker i'm not sure what colors yet though take this nude color amelie not sure how to ever say this this is my favorite base color it's the shade 036 and we're going to put one coat of that on all of our nails cure that layer for 60 seconds okay so now we're going to go in with one layer of this super duper light pink color Okay, so now we are curing that for another 60 seconds. The cat is freaking out right now, running around. What are you doing, Miss? Oh, did y'all hear that? He's just like running around making weird meowing noises. This is my airbrush. It sits up like this, plug it in, and that's how you charge it. But you don't need to keep it plugged in when you use it. You press this button, and I'm going to kind of teach you how to use it. So right now, I actually had leftover nail polish in it, and I forgot to clean it up. In this little compartment, this is where you're going to add your nail polish. And I usually add three to four drops of nail polish, and then you want to mix in. I've heard of a lot of people using different things, but I personally use acetone, and I fill it like halfway. It kind of takes a while for you to get the right consistency. If you're going to be getting an airbrush machine, I highly suggest getting some of these nails. They're so, so cheap cheap on Amazon and I actually got these to label all of my nail polishes but you can just get this and you can practice spraying it and then you know like how far away to hold it you really get to practice your consistency that is what really really helped me with this so I always use a few of those so I'm just gonna keep those over here so for this hand we are going to be doing like an orange and then pink aura don't really have like the perfect orange that I want so I'm going to make my own orange 
orange. A good way to save money with nail polish is to just get primary colors and then literally just make your own color. Like you don't need to go and buy every color. Just buy primary colors and then buy two whites and two blacks because then you can just mix white in with something to make it lighter and then black to make stuff darker. It honestly just like saves so much money. That is about one drop. So I'm gonna add about four drops in there. I highly suggest getting one of these squirty bottles just to put acetone in because it makes it like way easier. And I fill it up like in between a quarter and a half. And I'm literally just gonna take this brush and you want to mix it. I wanna put this back on there. I always put a towel down when I do this because airbrushing can kind of get messier, especially if you're learning. So you're gonna turn it on and it's not going to come out like right away, but it comes out when you pull this back. And the farther you hold away, honestly, the better. So I'm just kind of showing you like what we're gonna be doing. So yeah, that's that. So I'm gonna show you what happens when you do it super close. So this is what we're going for. But if you go super close, it's gonna be like that. And we don't want that. The farther you hold away is good. If you want a smaller circle, you can get closer, but it just takes practice. So I am going to take this latex tape and just put it around here so I don't get a bunch of gel around here and we can just easily kind of peel it off. totally do without this stuff and just take like a q-tip and go around but I don't really like getting gel on my skin too much because I have had an allergic reaction in the past and it's not really that fun when I get it on my skin it's fine if I just get it on my nails but that's why I'm very careful about getting it on my skin so I'm doing like an outer layer of orange and then in the middle we are going to do pink one thing I like to do is once I get a good little base, I cure it so then it can't really move because sometimes if you just keep layering and layering, it can start to get super duper wet and drip and then we're gonna layer it so it's a little bit more opaque. Well, that is our thumb done with the orange. I'm gonna do the same thing to all of these nails. I think I'm gonna put that in there with no cuts. That was literally so quick. Like the airbrush, once you get the hang of it, is so easy to use. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of a second layer, especially on this middle finger. We are going to cure that for 60 seconds and then we are going to get started with the pink. To clean this out, I'll always have a little dish over here. You kinda just put acetone in it and like flush out the last color. And then we're going to do the same exact thing as before and put drops in here. So let's check if it's the right consistency. It's pretty good to me. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Curing that so it doesn't get messed up. Okay, these are literally turning out so well. I'm curing them, and then I'm going to put one more layer of the pink to really make it pop. Okay, y'all, these are like the prettiest things ever. Time update is 2.10. I'm going to take off the latex, and then we are going to put a top coat on. Okay, I am absolutely in love with these. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a top coat just to like seal these. Cure these for 60 
60 seconds. I'm gonna wipe these down with some rubbing alcohol on a cotton pad to get rid of the sticky coat. Oh my goodness, that literally turned out so much better than I thought it was going to turn out. These look so good. So we are going to do the same exact thing on the other hand, just with different colors. And this is going to be a bit more of a darker one. I'm going to take black and I'm going to mix in a little bit of brown, pink, and purple. Like a very, very dark mauve color. And then we are going to have lighter pink as the like aura. I don't even know what this color would be called. It looks brown on here, but it's definitely like purpley-ish. hand I love more please let me know in the comments because I love this one but this is like nothing I've ever done before this is so freaking gorgeous I'm going to go in with a little bit of cuticle cream and then some cuticle oil final nails we finished them at 3 14 a.m. I have never wanted to go to bed more in my life